so hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sharifa and today we're going to be servicing my vending machine at um, DHL so I would like to say a big thank you for um, all the guys that have supported me all the way from the beginning up to now I would like to say thank you welcome to the newcomers um, thank you very much for all the questions and they you know the advice you give me I do appreciate all that um, definitely getting better and better every day and better content is coming out because we got a new camera just working out how to use it at the moment and uh, yeah so today we are servicing my vending machine at DHL last time we were here you guys saw me I filled it right up and today we came back and it had nothing it had no cork in it so yeah pretty much we're filling it all up and then we are going to be filling filling it all up and changing the prices um, on this vending machine uh, this is a Sorento 3000 so it only holds about three chips on top three chips on next and then it goes down to uh, it goes down to chocolates then drops down to energy drinks um, then it has two rows of canned drinks as, as you can see me there I'm trying to figure out um, which ones do I want to change I end up changing the price from a dollar forty to a dollar sixty a can that's because uh, when I bought this vending machine the guy who was operating them was not operating them as a business he was operating them to keep the sites and then sell the sides uh, so he tries to make sure the prices are as low as possible but coming in as a business kind of person I um, on most locations I do charge about two dollars a drink but I moved these guys from a dollar forty to a dollar sixty that's because the management is so good these guys are amazing they like me we always have a joke and then have a chat they like to tell me what they like and what they don't like um, we have also introduced new drinks to these guys so this is a warehouse where people um, you know big companies like Samsung and you know Apple and things like that deliver their 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 items and then these guys deliver them to stores so these guys are always working it's a very hard working you know kind of environment these guys make about hundred and twenty dollars a day so it's a pretty good location most of them are New Zealanders so we'll see I have a new drink that I've just put in originally from New Zealand very expensive drink and we had to have a chat about um, what they thought the price was and you know what were they thinking about it and then I had to move um, before in this machine they had a lot of cookies um, and when I came in this day the guy told me that um, the cookies were were not good for them they didn't like them anymore so we had to swap cookies for chips and then if you can see right at the corner there the cookies were three dollars so every the cookies were three dollars the chips were three dollars I moved that one down from three dollars to two dollars fifty that's because I feel like that's a very fair price as I buy uh, the chips at probably about 90 cents um, and put this in mind I drive about two hours to get to all my locations so when I include transport um, car maintenance and fuel and things like that definitely adds up to probably a dollar dollar sixty per but chips and then my drinks I sell them for that much because I get them for about 70 cents so I moved the chips from three dollars to two dollars fifty I moved the drinks from a dollar forty to a dollar sixty and remember these guys have a Nyax card reader so a Nyax a card reader charges a surge um, in this case my bank originally charges about 20 cents 
Um, so that's all I charged them. I the the Nyx card reader shows it right onto it that it's going to be charging them. It's going to be charging them twenty cents for any item in there, and then plus whatever the item costs. I do not incur any of that fee. It does not go to me. It goes straight to the bank, pretty much. And that's how they make their money. So right there, I'm like, nope, that's it. I put uh, the three dollars. The three dollars. That three dollars remained there because it all had um, cookies in it, and I wanted them to finish it. And then I changed these two to uh, two dollars fifty. I left the lollies to two dollars forty, I believe. And then I changed out some of those items a little bit. And as you can see, I've gone to change the price at the back there. And I normally forget the numbers, so I always come back to check. You find a you you'll see me looking a lot because I normally forget the price or the numbers I do forget the numbers a lot and just to make sure you do not want to be overcharging your customers so after all that I would like to say guys if you'd please subscribe to the channel if you'd please like and leave a comment in the description I would really really appreciate that um, I would like to say next week I'm doing a, um, a video about um, CC card readers so card readers pretty much um, and I'll get into depth of how to purchase them how much they charge depending on where you are and think like how, how to use it everyone has to have a password so that's the new drink I was talking about that drink is originally from New Zealand it's called L and P um, that drink is very expensive to buy it because wholesalers do not um, sell it um, yeah so wholesalers like uh, Costco I went to Costco and they will not stock it they won't stock it uh, they said to me it only comes in on festive season so they won't stock it um, so I buy a can of it for two dollars two dollars forty and I'm selling a can for two for three dollars fifty so I'm making about ten dollars ten ten dollars ten which is great um I like it but then it goes out so fast so the guys told me how about I move some like some um some energy drinks like the 500 cans that I'm holding right now and put in some more L and P so I say to them how about we finish those ones and then I'll get you some L and P pretty much that's what I said and I said, yep, yeah, next time you won't find any. So you guys stay tuned for the next video. Hopefully we come in. And um, there is no energy drinks, pretty much, the 500 meals. So we'll have to put LMP everywhere. And then I will also, they've asked me to put in some up and go. So up and go is like a little thing. Normally it's like milk. The little cans, plastic cans of milk. Yes, that's what we, that's what it's called. In Australia anyways and um, yeah pretty much just filled up these things I had a question about how or why do I mix up stuff so as I said this is usually seen as you know something you should not do it is really good to do depending on what you're doing um, so if I want someone to buy Red Bull and you know um, and I have a V so the green thing up there that's called a V it's an Australian product I believe and um, you know I have a lot of that in stock and I know people really buy Red Bull I will just put you know V's in front of it and I will and then people will buy them and then later they'll get back to the V's so guys if you've watched till the, till here where we are right now comment go comment um what should we comment today uh comment to dhl dhl so that's the code for today so thank you very much guys i do appreciate all your help i do appreciate all your efforts and for more vending um 
more more videos just like this more vending vending machine videos more collection um videos getting into depth of how much money the vending machine makes a week how much money is profit on these kind of things please let me know in the comment section what do you really want to know ask me all kind of questions i'll answer them pretty clear um i do believe i'm an honest person and i tell the truth all the time i do pretty much try to give as much information as i can um yeah so i'd like to say thank you for those that have still been watching regardless of you know um, i know video quality has not always been the best i'm working onto it um i'm right onto it at this point in time i'm working on to you know editing and things like that i'm working on to getting better quality videos out here for you guys so if you have any question leave them in the description please like share the videos because this helps me produce more content pretty much um like the video share the video please subscribe to the channel uh, for more vending related videos this will be coming up every every tuesdays and thursdays so if you'd please you know subscribe i'm working on to consistency pretty much and giving it all my best uh, making sure i do all my best and you know delivering the best i could um as we can see we've swapped all those like before right there where the twisties are we had all uh cookies um so now we've put twisties on there yeah so before i end the video i always say thank you so guys thank you very much for watching thank you very much for the support thank you very much for being a part of sharif of vending i do appreciate all the help all you know I could get I do always say hey we've done a great job so thanks for the support you guys are part of the team uh, you guys support me and you guys make this all happen so it's because of you that I grind hard and work hard looking forward to all this um, as I always say because it's a solo video it gets so because it's a solo trade, it gets a bit boring sometimes. And because I'm recording, I always look forward to seeing what I've recorded. I always look forward, you know, to look at the comments. I always look forward to see the likes. Or I always look forward to see you guys, what you think, uh, how could I improve. So if you guys have any ideas of how I could improve, please leave it in the comments below. I will be sure to do that. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye.